I have so many new products to go through. So today we're going through high-end cheek products. Hello, girlfriends. Let's talk about my shirt. I have on this kind of mottled looking shirt that is kind of rose, scoop neck, cute little sleeve with the little buttons right there. We always talk about what I have on first before we get into the video. I have on a really pretty heart necklace that just has a little cubic zirconium in the middle with cubic zirconium around it, silver, I'm pretty sure it's 925 sterling silver. And then I have on these silver earrings. And I'm pretty sure they aren't 925 sterling silver. These are just hearts. And then they have the little rhinestones all the way around them. They're just really cute. And don't forget about our numbering system as we go along. I will show a number in the corner of the screen. And you can just remember the number and go down into the description box. And next to the number will be the product that I've been talking about with the link. And you can shop that way because there will be colors or anything else that you might need to know about. And oh, by the way, the shirt is very true to size. I always forget to say that. All right, let's get into the video. So we're gonna talk about my favorite cheek products, which are high-end or luxury. And I wanted to start out by telling you about the new Patrick Ta. These are the bronzers or contour duos. I have the medium and the lighter one. I got the lighter one kind of before the summer came, and then I decided that I was going to do a lot of self-tanning, so I went and I got the medium one. So what you have is you have the contour product over here and then the bronzer product up here and what's cool about it is this is a cream product and it also has the cover that goes on it and then you can bronze up your face or warm up your face with this right here so these are luxury wonderful amazing products i can't say enough good that his blushes his foundation everything so far has just got the big stamp of approval from me because i think that they're just a very very amazing great product and i will tell you that of all the products that I have of his and as much as I've used them I feel like I haven't hardly made a dent in them so a little tiny bit goes a long ways and I think that is a really important thing when you're spending a lot of money like this and you're like can I afford that well how long is it going to last you to and whether or not the product is really going to be something that has that high quality that's going to last on your face and this one does and then I so stumbled across and nobody was talking about this this is from Beauty Blender and this is their bounce uh, magic fit creamy bronzer and highlighter duo and I, oh, I better tell you what I've got, what color I have it in. I have it in pearl and buff. And what's so cool about it, so you have your bronzer product. This is actually what I'm wearing for my bronzer today. Bronzer product in there, and it's really a bronzing. It's not anything at all like a contour product, uh, but it's beautiful. And then I am absolutely over the moon in love with the formula of the highlighter in here. There is a little mirror up there. The highlighter, it's what I have on underneath my blush today. The highlighter is so different for me and I think I'm so excited about it because it doesn't act like one of those beaming highlighters. What it acts like is this radiant glow. So you're not getting something that is super shiny on your face and going to attract attention if you do have large pores or texture and you're a more mature woman. It's so pretty and I love the bronzer as well. You can tell I'm kind of dipping into it big time. I like it because it can be buffed out and it looks so natural and so pretty. So I'm really into cream products and this completely fit the bill. Another one that I never heard anybody talk about is from Iconic London. And this is the Precision Duo Contour Pot. And this one is in medium shadow. And this one, oh my goodness. So same thing. I found it. I'm like, why isn't anybody speaking about this. It's a duo and I don't want to get my fingernail in it. That's why I'm trying to be careful. So you have the powder product on the top and then the cream product on the bottom. And these are, first of all, the cream product is so creamy. Sometimes I'm like, I don't know if I can get that out without really digging into it, but you can build it up really, really well. And it's really pretty and it's a great color for me. So know that it's a little bit light for a medium because normally I would be wearing something that was probably around a light medium or a light product. But the top product, which is the powder, is amazing. 
That is the most beautiful contour. And what's gorgeous about it, and I get so excited about, is that when you have a contour, you should have a muddy looking product, and it's a muddy looking product. And I love that about it. Because you don't want to be putting into your hairline, like me, where I have such a hairline that goes way back, I don't wanna be putting a bronzing product where you're going to be sh showing warmth or a, gl a glow, a warm glow. You want to have something that looks dark and muddy, muddy and shadowy. That's what we get in this. So. And then Merit actually sent this to me and this is their bronzing stick. And mine is in, I think it's C-N, S-E-I-N-E. -E. I'm sure somebody will tell me how to say that. So that's the color that I have. And the thing is, is that this is a pretty warm product for somebody that is as cool toned as I am. But what's so cool about it is I don't think I've ever seen a stick bronzer or a stick product that didn't disrupt the foundation below if you just drew it on. I've never been able to just draw on a product. I've always been one that put it onto a brush. So here's a brush right here. And I would put that onto the brush first and then go in with the brush instead of just drawing it on and then buffing it out. You can do that with this and you can work with your fingers and buff it out. Whoops, over here. You can work with your fingers and buff it out as well. And it can be built up, can be sheared out. Very, very easy to use. Very, very beautiful product as far as the product itself goes. And yeah, that one is the one that really surprised me. There is a couple of products in here that I want to tell you about before they're gone because right now they're around the holidays. And if you're watching this and they are gone like way in the future, know that you can still buy these in the large ones. And I'm just showing the ones that are the smaller ones that are maybe on a holiday special. So this is the Jouer Stick Blush Trio that they have going on right now. The first one right here, why do they have to make these little teeny tiny things so you can't read them when you're my age and you have to have the readers? Anyway, this one is called Promise Me and this is more of a natural looking blush, a little bit of a rose to it, very pretty. I love the saturation on these stick blushes. This next one is um, Peony or Peony, depending on which part of the U.S. you live in. And it's a bright, bright pink and I really like it as well. It's one of those ones that, you know, any cool tone girl can wear, but really anybody can wear if they're wanting to just pink up your lips. You can also use these on, not lips, pink up your cheeks. You can also use these on your lips as well, and they're gorgeous. This one is called Be Loud, and so this is the the darkest one that they have, and it's a little bit more along the lines of a bright rose. So we've got a bright blue pink, a brighter rose, and kind of a muted mauve color right over here. Really love this formula. This really sticks around a long time. It can be very easily sheared out if you need it to be, but it can be built up if you're a darker girl too. Oh, I love these. And I was so excited when I saw the trio of these. And again, I haven't seen anybody talk about these during the sales. And I'm like, come on guys, let's talk about these the things that are really, really good. Makeup by Mario came out with this product that is so interesting. I mean, this is crazy good. This is the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer. This one is in light medium. This is a cream product. Now, when I first, he, he released two together. He released a powder that had an ombre look to it. And I got that one and I'm like, well, what in the world is all the hype about? And then I got this one and it's a cream product. And then I was like, oh, that's what in the world all the hype is about. So this is a very smooth product that will go on your skin and it feels like almost like water, but it has the pigment in it and it has enough of a pigment in it that it's gonna warm you up and leave you with a very glowy look about your skin. It's really, really pretty. So let me just kind of put it across my cheeks here a little bit. I'm not gonna get carried away with it, but can you see right there? Hopefully you can see just a little bit of that brightening effect. I had on a different product for my bronzer, but this one is one that I've reached for so much because it is the cream and because it does give this radiance to your skin. It doesn't ever look cakey or like you've got too much or like it's mottled because you can't blend it out. Blends out so smooth and so pretty. All right, Huda came out with her stick blushes. And at first I was like, you know what? I am not buying another stick blush, but I'm a blush junkie. 
I, oh my word, I'm terrible about this. So I went and bought two of them. Let's see, the first one is called Batty Berry. And th these are like, they've got that glow in them and they are really highly pigmented. This one has a little bit more glow than the last one. This one is called Proud Pink but they do have this beautiful pigment to them and they are gorgeous on your skin. Oh my word, I love these. These are a little bit of luminosity in them, just a little bit of sheerness. If you want more pigment, you can build them up. If you have darker skin, if you have lighter skin, you're gonna choose a lighter one and then just sheer it out. And when they sheer out, they give the most beautiful glow. You do not need a highlighter when you use these. I love these. I really have had to fight myself to not get more, but I swear if I buy more blush, my husband's gonna hang me up by my toenails. All right, so, Laura Mercier came out with these moisture, tinted moisturizer blushes. These are pretty too. These are really pretty too. And the first one is called Parasol and it is more along the lines of the rose color. And then the other one is a lighter one and it's called Southbound. And so it's actually quite a bit lighter and it's kind of got a little bit of coral in it or a little bit of peach in it. And these are so lovely. These are a lot along the lines of just a liquid tint for your cheeks. So you're not gonna get a lot of high pigment out of this, you're just gonna get a tint. But I'll tell you what happens, when these babies dry down, they are there. They're not going anywhere and they're gonna stick around until you wash them off at night. I really love this formula and they do dry down quite quickly. So you kind of have to work a little bit quicker with them. Not too quickly, but I use a stipple brush, you know, like I would squirt a little bit like on my hand right there, blend it out a little bit, pick it up and then just stipple it across my cheeks. And wow, I'm in love with these. Gorgeous, gorgeous formula. Anastasia like Beverly Hills also came out with her stick blush. So it is the soft rose color is what I have. And this is really nice too. This is very much like the Jouer, the very, very much like that formula of being a cream that is super saturated, can be blended out very easily to be light and just give a flush across your cheeks, but it's, go it's gorgeous. And I loved this color. I was so glad that I went with the rose. I had so many rose in my collection, I was like, do I want another rose blush? But yes, apparently I do. I do plan on, as they go on sale and as I can get my hands on them, getting a couple of more of these because I do love this formula. And like you can see right there, hopefully you can see right there, how when I just touched it down here and I kind of spread it out, it just made this beautiful little flush right there. Hopefully you can see it, but you can really build it up as well to be very dark. So very versatile blush. And again, I'm really love stick and cream blushes. Uh, Merit actually sent this one to me too. I'm on their PR list, so I'm really very thankful that I am since I'm on so few. Citrine is the name of this particular highlight. Citrine is one of those ones that is, again, not a super high beam highlight, but it's beautiful. And I wear all of my highlights underneath my blushes. And this is one that is very easy to wear underneath a blush because you can put it on, it sets down, and you can put in a powder or a cream on top of it and it looks gorgeous. So really have loved that. And I know they have a couple different colors. So Merit did a really good job this year with all of the products that they came out with. And then the yeah. one that I was kind of surprised at was Uoma. Now this isn't new, this has been out for a while, but I had not gotten my hands on it uh, until I think early this last year. I'm not exactly sure, but this is their contour and their highlighter on the other side. The, the contour is a gorgeous, it's pearl. I think that's what it's called. They go off of whatever the highlighter color is. It's the lightest one anyway. Um, this is an incredibly great color for a contour because it is that muddy, again, shadowy color that works so well and it's a great cream product. But here's the highlighter so you can see it and hopefully you're gonna be able to see the difference between the highlighter from Uoma and then the highlighter from Merit. This one is just a little bit 
less beaming. This one's got a lot of beam to it. No sparkle, no glitter in anything that I normally use because I know that my skin is uh, mature and I can't really wear any sort of a glitter, but gorgeous. Just really, really beautiful. So that got an A plus from me. A couple other stick blushes from Ilia. This one is called At Last. These are so nice too. Now this is a little bit more hydrating of a formula than the other ones were from Jouer, but very close. They're all kind of coming out with this same, you know, stick formula, that same type thing. And then this one from Persona that is called Bubble. This is a summertime pink pink and you can use that on your cheeks or on your lips, whichever you want. But that is a gorgeous pink that does blend out and just looks really pretty in the summertime but they did come out with this this year, so I wanted to make sure I mentioned it. They do have a couple of other colors, but that one was my favorite color out of what they released. And oh, by the way, those two both were sent to me too. I wanna always tell you guys that so that you know what is sent to me and what is not, because I don't want to, you know, you thinking that I'm telling you something just because it was sent to me. The rest of them in here, not sent to me. So this one I bought on my own, Christian Dior. This is the uh, Forever Highlighter and I got mine in Pink Glow. It's a beautiful highlighter. I really like it. It is not a super high beam one either. It's pretty, but it creates a soft candlelight glow on your skin. It doesn't give you that super high beam on your skin at all, and I like that. You almost, you almost could use this as a finishing powder. It's so nice and just pretty and soft. So you could just touch the high points on your face. So top of the cheeks, nose, and the, the forehead and the chin, and you would have just such an ethereal pretty glow, especially for a party glam. Oh my goodness, that'd be so pretty. So I do absolutely love this, think it's gorgeous. But again, that's got a super high price tag on it. From KVD Beauty, this is her contour wand. Um, I bought this one. I don't remember who was talking about this, but I do feel like this has a little bit too much warmth in it to be a contour as well. This one is called Fair Cool, believe that or not. So I like this because it was a liquid and it was very easy to work with. You can, you know, use your fingers to work with it. Really a beautiful bronzer, but you're not I wouldn't personally use this as a contour color. I just don't think that it fits that bill, but it really does work really well. And it's very different than anything I've used before in that it was very easy to blend it out. NARS also released their bronzer and this one is in Laguna. Now this is the coolest tone that I could find. I love this formula. This formula is so good. This is super duper creamy, super duper pigmented, and super easy to work with, super easy to blend out, super easy to create any look that you want. I really felt like it had a lot of that red undertone that I talked about in it, so it just worked so well for me. Builds up very nicely and really stays on your cheeks a long time. This was really, really beautiful as well. So I can give my flying okie dokie to that one too. All right, friends, that's it for today's video. That is all of the products, the favorites, the really good standout ones, and they're the ones that came out in the year, so I wanted to make sure that I I did a review of them for you as well. Thank you so much for being with me today. I love you very much and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye everybody.